Hey guys, it's Lauren from Veed, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly add professional looking subtitles in iMovie. So whether you're on YouTube, social media, or just sharing with friends, adding subtitles allows you to reach a wider audience, since 85% of people silently scroll, meaning they watch without audio. And adding subtitles has been proven to increase your video's engagement by up to 40%. So let's get straight into it. Firstly, we're gonna launch iMovie on your Mac. Now, if you don't already have it, you can download it from the App Store. Now, once you're in, create a new program project and then you're going to import the video that you want to subtitle. Now you can do this by clicking on the import media button and selecting your video file. Once imported here we're just going to drag it into the timeline. Now let's add our subtitles so that we can include those who are hard of hearing, second language learners or our silent scrollers. Now click on the titles tab here in the toolbar at the top. Here you'll see different styles of text that you can use. Now for subtitles I would recommend using any of the lower third styles here. Just click and drag your chosen title style onto your timeline right above the video clip where you want that subtitle to appear. Now double click on the text box in the preview window here to edit the text. Type in your subtitle and then you can adjust the font, the size, the color in the text inspector on the right side here of the screen. Make sure the text is legible against your video background. Make it easy for your viewers to follow along. Next, you'll want to adjust the timing. So click on the edges here of the text box in the timeline to stretch or shorten its duration. Make sure your subtitles appear and disappear in sync with the audio. Now, once you've added your subtitles, you can just play the video back to see how they look. Now you might need to make a few adjustments here just to get the timing or the text formatting right just to ensure that everything flows smoothly. And I'm just gonna keep repeating this here by adding another text box. And the quickest way to do this is to copy the first text box, paste it in next to the first one, delete the text, type out the next subtitle and adjust the timings accordingly. Now this is quite a lengthy process. It's gonna take me at least 10 to 20 minutes here to subtitle this video in a way that's professional and represents my brand. So once we're done here and we're satisfied with our subtitles, it's time to export the video. Click on the file menu, then share and select file. Choose your desired resolution and your quality settings, then click next to save your video. Now, you might be thinking adding subtitles in iMovie is a long and a tedious process. Is there a quicker and easier way to get the job done? Absolutely there is. I'm now going to show you how you can generate accurate subtitles, customize the style of your subtitles to fit your branding and animate them in just a few clicks. Let's hop over to Veed. Now, once your video is uploaded, look for the subtitles tab on the left side of the screen. Click on it. Veed's now going to automatically detect the language, so you can click auto generate and then Veed will start to generate your subtitles using AI. Now, Veed's got a bunch of pre made styles here and they're all optimized for social media. You can click on any one of the styles here and then select customize. You can now change the font, the size, the color, the effect, and the animation. And once you're happy with the style of your subtitles, you can just take a moment here to review them. If you do spot any mistakes or you want to change the wording, click on edit to open the text panel. And then you just want to click on the word that you want to correct, delete it, and then type out the correct word. Now, once you're happy with your subtitles, it's time to export your video. Click done in the top right hand corner and then choose your render settings. You want to make sure that burn subtitles is turned on and then click export video. Now that's going to take a moment here to render. And then once it's done, we can watch some of it back here and see how our automatic subtitles turned out. So you want to be a full time travel YouTuber, but you cringe at the thought of filming in public. Look, I've got the solution for you. So first of all, you don't actually necessarily need to be on camera to be a travel YouTuber. Lastly, click download and download MP4. And that's it. That is how to add subtitles using iMovie and then a shortcut for adding subtitles fast on Veed. I really hope you found this video helpful guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.